Hi everyone, Brian Turpak with Steelworks Strength Systems here. At our very core, in our DNA, our DNA is shaped in a double helix, in a rotational pattern. It's no surprise then that rotation is an incredibly important movement pattern for athletes, okay? If you're going to a, a typical gym where you might be training just with barbells uh, or even kettlebells or dumbbells in a very sagittal plane, so just moving forward and backwards, if you're someone who plays football, basketball, if you run, any kind of field sport, rotation, the ability to rotate, is an incredibly important movement pattern for you to master. It's important for changing of direction, it's for important for uh, absorbing uh, force, and it's just overall making a more well-balanced human being. Okay? And there's a number of different ways that we can train rotation. There's a number of different implements we can use to train rotation. It all depends on what your sport's really calling for. Do you need to be more explosive? Do you need to have more control, etc. So we're going to look today at a couple of rotational exercises I like to use to help build that rotational power. Let's take a look at our first one. So the first implement I like to use for rotation um, is a band, uh, and we do a lot of uh, wood chops here, banded wood chops. You can do these from low to high or high to low. We're just going to show the low to high variation here. So if you're going to load up, if I'm going to rotate up to my left, I'm going to have my right leg out in front, and notice that my back leg is bent, my toe is up, and we're going to be doing some pivoting of the feet. We want more of the rotation to come from our upper back as opposed to our lower back. That's why when we rotate, we want to pivot the feet to keep the hips in line with whatever direction we're going. Okay? So, the low to high banded wood chop, basically from here. Come back down slow. One more time. That's the low to high banded wood chop. You can also, again, do the high to low, depending on what your sport needs. Let's take a look at the dumbbell variation. So we can use the dumbbell as a rotational tool as well. Uh, we'll look at the same exact kind of wood chop uh, variation that we just did. We'll get down from here. If I'm going to be rotating up to my left, again, the right leg's out in front. The dumbbell will be from here. I'm going to come up and then come back down. So we actually have the ability to come up hard and come down hard. But notice that the feet are still pivoting. Okay, that's a dumbbell wood chop. Let's take a look at the next variation. There's a number of things you can do with a med ball from a rotational standpoint. Um, and I love, 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 love med ball work for building explosive rotational power. Um, unlike in a barbell where you have to decelerate the weight at its end range of move, at the end range of movement for uh, wherever you're moving, uh, uh, a med ball you do not have to decelerate at all. Okay, so a couple variations I like to use: uh, a rotational med ball slam, and then we'll take a look at some of the actions that we can do against the wall. The last variation we'll look at is with the barbell in, in a landmine. Uh, while you might not be able to be as explosive with this particular implement, you'll at least be able to train a little bit more time under tension in a rotational movement pattern. So if you don't have a landmine attachment that you can hook up to a rig, you can grab any kind of a bumper plate or anything that has a, a solid stable platform where you can kind of insert a bar at the end. Okay? So we're here like so. So whatever hands on top, that's the direction we're going to rotate. The feet will be underneath the hips in this particular direction. And then from there, I'm going to pivot, come down to the side, and then come up. 
pivot. Notice again, the hips are now pointed straight ahead and back. Change directions again, pivot and come back up. That's the landmine. So these are but a few different types of rotational exercises that we use here at Steelworks Strength Systems to build rotational awareness and or rotational power. There are many, many more longer than I have time for in this video. If you'd like to learn more about rotational power training or any type of strength and conditioning work, please email me at brian at steelworkstrength.com. Take care.